Hello guys, hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. To our new viewers, I'm Glenn and I want to welcome you once again for another episode of our Trinipino cooking. Okay, so but uh, before we start, I want to greet each every one of you. Happy Valentine's Day. And as you can see, I'm wearing pink, not red, but um, yeah, so I, I can't find red, but um, I, I'm wearing pink today just to show, um, just to commemorate or respect our women out there. So we need to make sure we take good care of our women. And because of that, um, I want to shout out, um, a special sh shout out to my mom, to my sister, um, to Mommy Karaisha here in Trinidad. Hello, and to all the women that's so dear to me. I love you all, okay? So guys, just make sure to take care of your ladies, everyone, okay? So, alright, let's get back to this um, cooking thing, okay? So I just want to share with you guys one of our Filipino recipes. This is called Calderetang Kambing. In English, um, stew goat, okay? So I will show you how to prepare. Actually, this is my first time cooking goat meat. All right, so let me just um, tell you our ingredients. Okay, so we have, of course, our goat, our seasoned, I already seasoned it with our green seasonings, and it's already washed and cleaned, okay? So there's a lot of um, ways to clean the goat meat. What I did is um, I just wash it with um, vinegar, all right, and then after that, Again, I just wash it up with um, flour. All right, all right. And then they said you can also soak the goat meat with the um, buttermilk. All right, and then um, just to remove the the distinct um, smell of the meat. Okay, and then all right. So we have our tomatoes, the carrots, uh, the sweet um, bell pepper, and then garlic onion and potato and then of course our tomato sauce all right and then we well we i can't find um the main ingredients which is the um reno liver spread for our caldereta because without it i think caldereta is not caldereta but um i will just use um substitute i will we will make our own um, liver spread using a chicken liver. Uh, I marinated already it with um, soy sauce and Sprite, okay? And then onion and garlic. So I will show you that guys later on. Okay, so let's start cooking. Okay, so we have our pot ready. First, you just need to put our um, garlic. Right, just cook it up a little bit. Mm, okay, and then our onion. Just because I want the um, caldereta with with um, with pepper, a little um, you know, hot. In Trinidad, we like it uh, hot here, spicy. We will add some pepper right there and then just um, wait until the um, onion and garlic cook up and just mix 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 stir it okay now we can add our tomatoes. Okay, and then let's just cook it, cook the tomatoes a little bit before we add our goat meat. All right, so this is good right here. Now let's add our goat meat. Nice. 
Now with this one now, we just want the goat meat, meat, sorry, meat to cook a little bit, right? So let's do that. So while we um, wait for this uh, meat to cook a little bit before we add the um, rest of the ingredients, I uh, will start to um, do the cook the our liver spread. Okay, we will be cooking our liver spread while waiting for this meat, the goat meat to simmer okay time to do our liver spread so just basically the garlic and then you can add the onion one time just some um, saute it a little bit and cook it up mm -hmm, like that and then we can just add our um, marinated um, liver go and then basically you just need to wait on the sauce to dry up okay and then just to burn it up a little bit not too much but just to um, dry up the um, sauce in it okay okay so it's like five minutes after doing this you can see the sauce um, almost dry all right so just wait for a little bit again, maybe one, two minutes, and then it will be good. So after this one now, what we will do is, um, if you have, well, you can blend this, just to um, blend the, um, the, to crush the liver, all right, all right, at puree, <laughs> okay, and then, or I can just use a spoon to um, mash it, okay. Right, so I think this is fine, so let's just turn this off and then just put the liver here, just be careful. Okay, like that. Alright, so just mush, mush, mush. <laughs> just do this. It'll be easier if to use the blender, but um, you know, uh, uh, we have a blender, but um, I don't want to use it laziness you know i don't want to clean the blender okay just i think this will do because once you add this to um our meat to our um yeah to our meat there it will cook up more okay so yeah so just keep doing this until you mash this and then after that um yeah we'll just put put it um, aside okay so let's check our goat meat Ooh, look at that. Okay. Alright, so after this one, we can just add our tomato sauce. Alright. Okay, just mix it, stir it. Okay, and then let me just get the liver spread. Well, look, this one is helpful. <laughs> We're crushing it. All right, so let's just add our liver. All right, and then just stir it up again. Then after this, we will add some water. Okay. Yes. Okay. We can just leave it like that with two cups, and then we'll wait until the um until we cook the the goat meat. Okay. Right, and then I'll just keep it simmer, let it simmer, cover it up, and then I'll we'll just wait. Okay, let's check the meat. Alright, ooh, it's cooking nicely there. So if you notice that, um, well, it's just 30 minutes past, right? 
um, water. If you find the water is too a little bit, right? You can add um, some water, okay? Just to make sure to cook up um, that um, meat, all right? And then we can just add up some um, uh, black pepper. And then, of course, don't forget your salt to taste. Okay. Right. And then, mix it up so. And after this, we will just um, wait again for it to simmer until the meat, you know, soft or tenderize. Okay. Right. One eternity later. Okay, so after a long one and a half hours, um, I think the cook, uh, I mean the um, goat has already cooked right there. So that's good. So if you have a pressure cooker, you can use your pressure cooker, okay? Just to, um, you know, the time, the, the, this meat is really, what, taking time to cook. Alright, so but I think uh, I need to add more pepper. Alright, and then after that, I will just add our sweet um, pepper. Okay? I'm adding the sweet, uh, the bell pepper first because I want it um, very cooked. So at least it will blend with our calderetang kambing. Okay? Alright. And then, I'll just wait a little bit right there. Like maybe cook it up like for two to three minutes. And then after that, you can add your potato, your aloo. Okay, now let's add up our potato. And then just stir it up again. And let's add up our carrots. Just see just how much carrot you will put there. Okay. Alright. Okay, that's good. I think I will add more water, maybe a cup of water again. And then um, we'll simmer it up again for at least 5-10 minutes. Let's see. Oh, nice. Seeing that. The carrots, potato, the bell pepper. Um, the consistency of it, the water. Yeah, this is good. But um, yeah, so uh, for me, I want my caldereta to have a little, you know, sweetness in it. Right, so I will just add up um, one teaspoon of sugar and then just um, stir it like that. Okay. All right, so, and uh, of, of course, don't forget your black pepper and your salt to taste. So depending on you, it's up to you. You can just put it, put it, okay? And then, ta-da! Our caldereta kambing or stew goat. There you go. Okay, so I will just do the plating, the plate. I will plate this and then our usual um, tasting. Okay? Alright. Ta-da! Our caldereta kambing or stew goat. There you go. Okay, so let's taste it. I need to take my time here because it is very hot still from the and then a little bit of sauce there. Let's like to get some carrots and bell pepper. Alright. That's good. There you go. So while waiting, I'm sure this is really hot still. Um in the Philippines back home we do serve um always cook caldereta. You can cook it with, um, you can use beef as well instead of goat, so it's up to you. We just cook this and serve this during um, like weddings or birthdays or if you have occasions or even like 
just a simple gathering with your friends, family, drink, you know, while drinking, you're eating this. And then, of course, um, we're eating this with rice. All right, so, or you can eat it so. Okay, let me see. Let me just try this um, carrot. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, it's really, oh my God, it's a success. Mm, my first time cooking it and then, well, I will let my friends or maybe my neighbor right there to taste it too. So at least um, I'll ask their opinions, okay? Because they, most of them, all of them actually, they're always begging me to give them or let them try it as well. Because every time I cook, I just, you know, saying it nice, 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 but they not tasting it. So maybe I will share with them as well, okay? Mm. Okay, let me see the goat. Okay, the goat cook. So if you have a pressure cooker, you can use it. Mm. Oh my god, that's my bird. It's good. The goat meat is really good. It's cooked perfectly. Alright, so... Whew, I'm so glad this thing came out good. So, guys... Thank you again for watching, alright? And then, thank you for your continued support. But please don't forget to like, share, and don't know my quail too. I have a farm here. Um, don't, yeah, don't forget to sh like, share, and of course subscribe if you did not subscribe yet, okay? And then press that notification bell. To, so at least you will get updated for our new to our new videos and that's my dogs all right so guys thank you once again and then please you can try this it's easy well it's gonna it will take your time but you can use pressure cooker it will cut off the time in half or so so if whatever your comments are please comment it down down in the comment uh, box and then once again guys Thank you and see you. Bye-bye.